punch. Robots all moving in the direction of their airship. Looks like Pronto's gonna get there first. The Blue Alliance gets their rotor turning. Now the Cyber Knights step back to work on their fuel. And we have three gears on board the Blue Airship. Can they turn up two rotors? Just not enough time. Very, very close and outstanding work by that Blue Alliance to make it so close. But they'll have to settle for a 118 to 75 advantage as we come up on two minutes to play in this match. Code Purple Pilot has a gear in his hand or her hand and they're gonna spin that rotor. Two rotors turning on the red airship and now just a three point advantage for blue. Three points of pressure making all the difference as we still have plenty of match to play. 49-11, the Cyber Knights in position under the blue airship. They are joined by their alliance partners, Pronto and the Cloverbots. Everybody drops off a gear and that's gonna be three more gears coming aboard the blue airship. That'll be enough to get their third rotor turning in, started on the fourth. Outstanding work by this Blue Alliance. As we still have a minute 20 to play and they are up to a 158 to 115 lead. Now 158 to 155. As we see three rotors spinning on the red airship as well. Code Purple down there at the back end of the red airship. They drop off a gear, then get pushed out of the way by 3070. Pronto says, excuse me, pardon me, and they head back towards their airship with a gear in tow. On the red end of the field, you can also see the Crusader bots. They're currently our 10th ranked team. They dropped a gear, not able to get it on the peg, so they'll go back, pick up another one from the retrieval zone and try again. Hotwire now motionless. Their robot signal light is out. This could be an electrical problem, and I have a feeling that Hotwire may be done for the remainder of this match. A huge blow to the Red Alliance, if so. 35 seconds remaining, still that slim Blue Alliance lead, but not for long. They've cranked up their fourth rotor. And with a 198 to 155 score, the Blue Lions are going to take home at least one ranking point and looking like it might be more. Cyber Knights just want to pad their stats. They're going to put some fuel up and in the direction of the Blue Boiler. Now with 15 seconds to play, Code Purple is the first robot to signal ready for takeoff. They are up and locked. Cyber Knights, Cloverbots, and Team Pronto almost in unison climbing aboard the Blue Airship. Red Alliance gets their fourth rotor spinning. There go the Crusader bots and they trigger the touch pad just in the nick of time. And if not for the damage to 2990, this could have been an extremely close match. As it stands, still an outstanding performance by all of our robots. And we're gonna wait for our final scores to be confirmed. Looks like they're ready to go right now. So let's see what it looks like. Across the finish line they go, and it is the Blue Alliance first. 349 to 295, that helps the Clover Box creep up from fourth to third. Red Alliance takes home a ranking point, not enough to keep those two teams from slipping in the standings, but undoubtedly it keeps them closer to the top than they would have been otherwise. Brian, what do you see for us? 